the fire sermon. Thus have I heard. The blessed one was once living at Gay Essar in Gay, with a thousand bhikkhus. There he addressed the bhikkhus, Hikas, all is burning. And what is the all that is burning? Hikas, the eye is burning, visible forms are burning, visual consciousness is burning, visual impression is burning, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises. On account of the visual impression, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust, with the fire of hate, with the fire of delusion, I say it is burning with birth, aging and death, with sorrows, with lamentations, with pains, with griefs, with despairs. He ear is burning, sounds are burning, auditory consciousness is burning, auditory impression is burning, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises on account of the auditory impression, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust. He knows is burning, odors are burning, olfactory consciousness is burning, olfactory impression is burning, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises on account of the olfactory impression, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust. He tongue is burning, flavors are burning, gustative consciousness is burning, gustative impression is burning, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises on account of the gustative impression, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust. He body is burning, tangible things are burning, tactile consciousness is burning, tactile impression is burning, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises on account of the tactile sensation, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust. He mind is burning, mental objects, ideas, etc., are burning, mental consciousness is burning, mental impression is burning, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises on account of the mental impression, that too is burning. Burning with what? Burning with the fire of lust, with the fire of hate, with the fire of delusion, I say it is burning with birth, aging and death, with sorrows, with lamentations, with pains, with griefs, with despairs. Kikus, a learned and noble disciple, who sees, things, thus, becomes dispassionate with regard to the eye, becomes dispassionate with regard to visible forms, becomes dispassionate with regard to the visual consciousness, becomes dispassionate with regard to the visual impression, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises on account of the visual impression, with regard to that too he becomes dispassionate. He becomes dispassionate with regard to the ear, with regard to sounds. Dot. He becomes dispassionate with regard to the nose. Dot. With regard to odors. Dot. He becomes dispassionate with regard to the tongue, with regard to flavors. Dot. He becomes dispassionate with regard to the body. Dot. With regard to tangible things. Dot. He becomes dispassionate with regard to the mind, becomes dispassionate with regard to mental objects, ideas, etc., becomes dispassionate with regard to mental consciousness, becomes dispassionate with regard to mental impression, also whatever sensation, pleasant or painful or neither painful nor pleasant, arises on account of mental impression, with regard to that too he becomes dispassionate and dispassionate, he becomes detached, through detachment he is liberated. When liberated there is knowledge that he is liberated. And he knows, birth is exhausted, the holy life has been lived, what has to be done is done, there is no more left to be done on this account. This the blessed one said. The bhikkhus were glad, and they rejoiced at his words. While this exposition was being delivered, the minds of those thousand bhikkhus were liberated from impurities, without attachment.